This video tutorial is within Erasmus Plus project Clilt for Cultural Heritage. Welcome to our tutorial on creating a digital storytelling. After you have learned all the process of creating digital storytelling, use the following tips to master your skill. Digital stories that examine historical events require you to conduct research and synthesize a large amount of information into the most important and educationally useful information. Tip 1. In order to draw the audience attention, focus on one aspect of a character's life or one aspect of a problem or relationship in a character's life. Tip 2. Make certain that the script contains at least one dramatic idea or question that present the point of the story that you want your viewers to understand after they watch it. Tip 3. Create a conflict. Every short story needs to have a single point of conflict. The character should have either a dilemma, a revelation or be faced with a decision of some kind. Conflict and tension keeps your audience engaged and invested in your story. Get rid of repetitive words. Don't spend too much time setting scenes because a short story needs to come to a relatively quick conclusion. Tip 4. Keep up the pace. A fast pace is essential for short stories. Normally, the pace increases as the character approaches the final resolution after the turning point of the story. Collect digital resources related to your script. Search for or create images that can be used in your story, including pictures, drawings, photographs, maps or charts. Make sure that all your pictures have a high resolution. It is better to be in PNG than in JPEG format. If you plan to use video clips, try to find or shoot short clips or sound effects that will highlight the theme of your story. Tips for creating successful storyboards include presenting your information in the right order, in a logical and coherent fashion. Always try to include as much of the script as possible and then put your storyboard together with a description of images. Try to keep the visual element simple, appropriate to what has been said in the script. The images can be clip art or just written descriptions. Once you have your first draft of your script, practice reading it out loud. If you want to search for images on Google, you can do an image search tool for Creative Commons licenses or sign up for Flickr. Creative Commons licenses allows us to use music without having to buy songs, as long as we give the proper contribution and follow the guidelines that have been set forth under the license. CC for Creative Commons and then have the letters BU, NC and CA for attribution, non-commercial and share alike, the type of licenses that these tracks contain. Also for the free music check website Jamenda Music and at the end fulfill your obligation of providing attribution to the artist who created the music. Remember to check the copyright information carefully for each image you want to use. Tip when you take your own pictures, then you don't violate anyone's copyright. Using your own voice allows you to personalize your story and connect with your audience. There are many tools that you can use to record your voice, such as built-in microphones on a laptop, microphones that plug into a computer, smartphones and digital audio recorders. When recording with a microphone, try to use USB microphones, which generally sound better. Tip: For each slide of your story, record your narration separately. If you have the option to increase the recording quality, you should always do this. 
since the improvement in your narration may be significant. If you are given a choice, you should set the recording quality to high. Most audio apps will let you save your recording. Then you can email a copy of the recording to yourself. Some apps even allow you to save your recordings to an online storage location like Google Drive. Gather all together. At the end, import the recorded narration, images and video clips into the B-Video, iMovie or another similar software program. Add titles or captions that will help support the theme of your story. If desired, import music or other audio such as sound effects. When you are satisfied with the results, save a copy of your completed digital story. And the last step is to share your story. Good luck in making your digital story and thank you for your attention. Disclaimer. The European Commission's support for the production of this publication does not constitute an endorsement of the contents which reflects the views only of the authors and the Commission cannot be held responsible for any use which may be made of the information contained